<laughs> All right. I, I said earlier, I, I love the honeybee. I've always been fascinated with the honeybee. When I was a kid, I used to collect them in a jar. I would let them go. <laughs> I know. I was, I was kind of... Insects that sting. I had no friends. <laughs> uh, and they didn't sting me, by the way, either. Ah, they liked you. They liked me. And I liked them, too. Anyway, I went out to the Walker Honey Farm. Well, bzzz, check it out. <laughs> Today we are in for a treat. I'm here at Walker Honey Farm, and I tell you, you guys were on the show a while back talking about the wine, but today I get a special treat. I get to actually meet the bees. Can we call it Bee to Bottle here? And of course, we're amongst all these bottles of uh, honey. Thanks for having me out. Absolutely. Glad for you to be here. Really excited to take you out to a bee yard uh, so you can get introduced to our millions of little friends. And let's talk about the benefits of honey. We've always heard a spoonful of honey makes the medicine go down, which is probably true. But uh, honey is just good for you in general. It's a natural sweetener. And you said this before we came on, real honey, nothing with anything else, else added. The natural raw honey, most of the honey that you get on the grocery store shelf has been what's called DE filtered. So they're filtering it down as fine as they can. They're pulling all the pollen out. They're pulling all the honey crystals as fine as they can out. Because mm -hmm. the goal is they don't want it to crystallize on the shelf. Yeah. Uh, so they get staying power. But in doing that, they're not really maintaining the integrity of the honey, uh, which keeps all the, the positive microbials and pollen and everything that really is good for you in the honey. Absolutely. Take a look behind me. Come on in here and see if we get a tight shot of that. Uh, we actually have a, f a few thousand of our favorite little friends in there right now just kind of doing their thing and I'm going to have a chance to meet each and every one of them coming up here in a few minutes. Okay, obviously we're out where they keep the bees. We're on the bee farm here. So what have you pulled out for us? All right, what we got here is a brood frame. So brood is our fancy bee word for baby bees. And these little capped cells you see are almost adult bees that haven't hatched out yet. And then right there in the middle there's some young ones that are still little grubs. They look like little, little larvae, right? And those are the ones that they're feeding. Once they get big enough, they'll cap it. And in a few days, these ones with the cap on it, those will hatch out as adult bees. This is amazing. Before we started this segment, I asked, like, how often these bees reproduce? And, you know, because it's very important, I guess, to keep the population of the honeybee alive. Absolutely. Um, and so it depends on the time of year. Um, in the winter time, when they're conserving energy, uh, the queen will lay very few eggs, just maintain a very low population. But this time of year in the spring, when they're building back up, uh, the queen can lay what, a thousand, uh, over a thousand uh, eggs a day, just to maintain numbers. To put that in perspective, your average worker bee, these ladies right here, <laughs> they live about three to six weeks, depending on the time of year. So how often do you guys come out here and get the honey? Um, we come out, so again, that would be seasonal, but when bees are producing honey, so they're bringing in nectar from flowers and they're making honey out of it, when that's happening, we could come out, you know, in the peak of it every week and pull 30 pounds off a hive. Incredible. And of course, we've got several hives back here. I'm keeping my hands in my pocket. I just got to be honest with you. I don't want to get stuck. I'll come over one last time. I'll have you bring in this way. Um, best place for people to get more information about uh, coming out here, checking out the bees, or better yet, getting some of that delicious honey. Yeah, absolutely. That would be walkerhoneyfarm.com. Um, we have beetle bottle tours first Saturday of every month. Uh, you can buy all of our local honeys and several regional honeys that we've sourced from all over the world uh, that are premium select honeys from our website or better yet, come out and visit us. There you go. And you know what? We haven't gotten bit yet, which is nice. I like that. I'm going to send it back to the studios, guys.